Alrighty, back again. So we got some more carpet waves and another bedroom of this house that we were just in. So check out those little rumps and bumps there. The photo doesn't pull it out super good, but you know what I'm saying, this is common. So how do we handle this situation? We're gonna start in the corner here. Let's peel back the corner of carpet. We need to get access to this tack strip and we gotta pull it nice and tight, get all that slack out of there so nobody trips at 2 a.m. when they're rolling to the bathroom. Alrighty, so we got the carpet pulled back get you a view of this here we're going to use a crab stretcher and a kicker to get this nice and tight so let's go ahead and reinforce the tack strip we're going to throw a couple sinker nails in it here reason we're doing this is because we're going to lock a stretcher onto the tack strip and pull all that slack across the room now you want to reinforce it because it will just pull the tack strip out of the subfloor if you don't reinforce it so we're just throwing a couple you know inch nails inch and a half nails into this just to make sure it anchors in real nice and we will do a follow-up video showing on how to handle this on a concrete subfloor little different scenario but all right we got it reinforced here let's go ahead and get this flopped into place we're going to take the crab stretcher we're going to lock it on to the tack strip right where we put those sinker nails in that way we don't pull it out i'm going to put my knee on the head of it here because if you don't it could just rake the top of the carpet there pull fibers and create a mess so you want to add a little bit of pressure and you want to finesse it down look at that nice bubble we pulled across the room here life is good now we're going to go ahead and take the knee kicker we're going to stretch it up and get it locked onto those tack strips. Pop that crab stretcher so we can continue pulling that slack out. And we're going to get this out of the way. Lock it onto the next section. All right, boom, we're good here. Let's go ahead and get that pressure going. Boom, all the slack coming down to the wall. It's just doing all the work for us there. Now, if you wanted to buy one of those crab stretchers, I would recommend shopping your local pawn shops or eBay or Craigslist. You'll get them much cheaper that way. Now, the knee kicker, you can get those at all the big box joints for roughly $80. So those are super common, easy to find. But the crab stretcher, if you buy it new, you're spending in a couple hundred dollars. If you want to find them used, eBay would be a great place to go. Now we got it locked on. Let's go ahead and crease it on, making sure that the tech strip is piercing through the backing of the carpet holding into place for us go ahead and tuck the one side there and we're just going to tap that up and then this part that we stretched up we're going to go ahead and trim and tuck that into place here so let's go ahead i'm working my way down this wall just getting that slack nice and snug on the side and we also have raised baseboards here so when i'm kicking it up i'm actually just kicking it under the baseboard securing it and now let's go ahead and tuck what we can and we're going to lob off the excess so we're going to use a utility blade on this a little more common than the carpet knife and a little bit safer Carpet knife is known for creating stitches in hands. So use a utility blade. Worst case you get a little nick, you'll be okay. Now go ahead and tuck it with the linoleum knife or hook blade, whatever you want to call it, and boom. You just made a quick $75, assuming you're doing this as a business. Or if nothing else, you just brought some peace to the household because your partner's been yelling at you forever to go ahead and fix those bubbles in the bedroom there. So that's all I have in this one. Go ahead and comment below with any questions, and I will see you on the next video clip.